I'm gonna call up Sarah and Brother Fahim up to the stage, please. Wherever they, wherever they be. Power to the people, cause the people want. Power to the people, cause the people want. and sisters. My name is Sarah Haider. I'm a graduate of Fordham Law School. This past March, we organized a trip to Palestine. We drove there and we got there and we saw the walls. The walls are 25 feet high, 440 miles long, two concrete thick slabs to keep the people oppressed. How are they getting this money? Where are they getting this money from? It's from every dollar you give to Starbucks. It's every dollar you give to Coca-Cola. It's every dollar you give to organizations like SodaStream and Max Brenner and Sabra Hummus. Those are the dollars that go to oppress the people. So be careful where you spend your money. Every dollar matters. I visited the people in Nabi Saleh, a family, a village of people that are fighting to keep the settlers off their land, to keep a small stream. We enjoy this stream every day. They can't even enjoy their stream on their Fridays. And what, why, why can't they do it? Because the settlers are paid to live on their land. And where do the settlers get that money from? It's every dollar, every coffee you spend at Starbucks, every bottle of Coke you drink, every dollar you give to Max Brenner, and you sit there and you eat at the restaurants, you are funding the movement. You can stop the movement. Support the BDS movement. It's a boycott, divestment, sanctions movement to stop spending your money in the wrong places. Give your money to organizations that matter. Give your money to organizations that are going to make a difference and they're going to stop oppression. This is your duty. This is your earnings. Your halal earnings have to go to a halal place. Don't put your money in the wrong spot. Thank you. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So, Sister Sarah just brought us into uh, one of the more important parts of our program. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fahim Darab. Um, there are a couple of brothers walking around. They have a resource, a boycott resource for you all. Today we're gathered here and it's hot, it's muggy, a lot of us are fasting, it's a little difficult being out here, but we're out here for one day out of the year. What about the other days in the year, all the other 364 days in the year? How, how will we leverage what we're doing here throughout the rest of the year? Well, the way we do it, inshallah, is boycott. Consumer boycott of these companies that support the Zionist apartheid system. Something that we, uh, we, we had happened about 30 years ago, 40 years ago, we had apartheid South Africa. In South Africa, they had an apartheid government, a system that discriminated based on the color of your skin. And today we have in Israel the same sort of thing, but they discriminate based on your religion. If you're Jewish, then you have certain rights that no one can take away from you. If you are Palestinian, you're non-Jewish, then you don't have those rights. The rights to buy land, the rights to travel on certain roads, the rights to come from you know, a refugee camp back to your home. You don't have those rights. So we have an apartheid system in Israel. We want to inform you all and provide you with a resource. So there's a, a, a magnet that the brothers are going around. Um, inshallah, they'll hit everyone. The magnet has three American companies, major American companies that have been committing crimes against our brothers and sisters in Palestine. These three major companies, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, and McDonald's, either the companies themselves, or in the case of Starbucks, their CEO, in a very public way, have been supporting the apartheid system in Israel. They're giving money to settlements, they're giving money to the Israeli economy to help support their apartheid. They're giving money to propagandize, to take um, Americans who live here, take them over to Israel and introduce them to the Israeli settlers, into the wonderful settler life. They don't introduce them to the ugly side of the life. Um, so because of these crimes, we are boycotting these three companies. And earlier, uh, Shelly Fudge from Jewish Voice for Peace, she mentioned another company, SodaStream. There are many different companies that are, that are being boycotted. You can feel free to pick and choose whichever one you want to boycott. So, inshallah, as this uh, 
resource goes around. You get it, you take it home, you put it on your fridge, and you remember it year round. Every time you go to the grocery store, every time you walk down the street, you remember your Palestinian brothers and sisters, and you take the conscious effort to know, I'm not gonna go spend my hard earned money to support apartheid. Takbir. Allah. Allah. Allah.